what's up everybody hey it's aaron and nicole this is dude that's fucked up a podcast welcome we know you have many choices for content in these pan- pandemic days we thank you for choosing us <laughs> please let us know if we can make your listen more comfortable um we will just be seated in the back uh next to the exit <laughs> Remember to tip your waitress, uh, which is yourself, because <laughs> there are none in this day and age. I yeah. can't remember the last time I've been. I don't remember the last time I went to a restaurant physically. I truly don't. I mean, it was literally a year ago. Uh, yeah. A year ago, I was uh, flying as as of this recording mm-hmm. today. At this time, I had flown back from Ireland after doing a 36 hour uh stint thinking we oh were going God. to a wedding which we didn't go to and really uh because like they announced that the there was a legit pandemic and everybody yeah. started closing their borders and we You're were like, like we need to get oh, back f- oh fuck we oh, gotta no. go this yeah. is not good um oh, my yeah God. so and <laughs> it was just so stupid thinking about it we had no masks like we knew nothing we had um i think we had like gloves or something mm. <laughs> like that's how we thought we were going to protect ourselves I don't fucking know <laughs> well I don't think we knew anything about it we didn't know we how it nothing. spread at that point like we truly knew nothing um, people did know stuff the administration knew stuff they just weren't sharing it so yeah. and when they did it was not in a way that they were like <laughs> all that serious about <laughs> yeah so that anyone was confident with so <laughs> Whoopsies. Oh, God. Yeah. So that was a wild time. I Mm -hmm. cannot believe that happened. I can't believe we're like a year down in quarantine. What a what a crazy, crazy sitch. I know. Uh, Well, um, yeah, this isn't uh, not it's not a quarantine related episode by any means. Definitely not. Um, It is something entirely different. (laughs) I mean, I mean, I guess it's kind of like um, kind of like quarantining if you were to keep it all in the family. Oh, you are quarantining within a very small gene pool. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, but we'll get to that. We'll get to that. You're quarantining your offspring to familial (laughs) ties. Yeah, to you are bound by the familial ties. Oh my gosh. Yeah, we'll get to that in a second. But before we do, yeah. do we have any any business? Um, I don't have any business, I don't think. Um, I would say uh leave us a review on iTunes. That would be really fun and cool of you. Yeah, that would that would be awesome. Uh yeah. tell a friend if you would. Oh, yeah. Share Spread your favorite episode. Yeah. Yeah. Also, if you have favorite clips that you have just like loved over the years, like specific clips, like 30 seconds, let us know. We're making little TikToks and stuff. And if you would like to see how we would um, visualize those clips, uh, that's how you would send know. Us, <laughs> send us the timestamp too, because we don't fucking know. <laughs> yeah. Just Unless be like, it's, it's, it's like 30 minutes and 24 seconds in or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That you, yeah. you guys said this shit. You, there's so many things that people reference. Yeah. I'm like, that, huh. was fr- that was our podcast? Oh, Even man. from last week. Like, pe- totally. it'll be like, oh, ha, ha, LOL, like this thing. And I'm like, ha, ha. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's from our podcast? Cool. <laughs> yeah, that's funny. Like, oh. Uh, we are just, you know, our brains yeah. are little sieves there's nothing yeah nothing is staying in there so Mm-mm. sieves sieves yeah whatever yeah yeah um yeah that's that's i guess the only biz um sure do you have anything fucked up this week i don't have anything fucked up this week I don't okay think. yeah all right what about you do you have anything fucked up um well it's it's not really fucked up it's mm-hmm. just uh the outcomes The things that I am doing because of it are kind of fucked up. Uh, Mm. So guess what, guys? I'm what? I'm pregnant. Oh, pandemic baby. Hey, what else are you going to do? eh? Eh? (laughs) What else you got going on? How else are you going to kill time? Date night? Yeah. Date night in the house. (laughs) Uh, Yep. Whoopsie. Um, No, it wasn't a whoopsie. It was like a. It was was an on purpsey. 
it was it was a meh might as well <laughs> uh, <laughs> we need to populate this household if it's all if it's only going to be us in here we need other people to talk to you know what i mean i know i know oh my god yeah so yeah so i've been getting a ton of blood work done because i am uh officially a geriatric pregnancy um <laughs> Yeah, when you turn, when you're past the age of 35, um, which I am. Which you, a lot, a people say that Aaron is, but it's yet to be confirmed. So nobody has yet verified my age. No, uh, I don't care. I don't give a fuck. Uh, no, no. I, it's just a long running bit. Yeah, it's our, it's our bit. Um, mm-hmm. Yeah, so I, <laughs> I've been getting so much blood work done, so many uh, mm. like random ultrasounds and stuff so um I'm just you know it's every other week is a new fun adventure um (laughs) and I remember getting a bunch of tests done when I was pregnant with Jack but I feel like this is like double the amount that I've had to do because you're older Um, because I'm older and when I had my I like everything was like I I figured it out very quickly yeah um unlike with Jack um (laughs) where I was like (laughs) Almost done with my first trimester. <laughs> and I was like, oh, like, uh, wine does not taste good to me anymore. What the fuck is wrong? <laughs> I'm tired. I'm like so t- My boobs like are so big right now. Like, ugh, yeah. it feels so weird. That was like literally how I figured it out. I was like, uh, yeah, this no, bra there was- doesn't fit. <laughs> yeah, my bra is definitely, <laughs> it was so crazy. I, I literally had no idea, but, um, only because like I there was a lot of a lot of things happening with my body and so yeah. and honest, never been pregnant honest, before, honest but now mistake. You have. Yeah, yeah, honest yeah. mistake. Now I yeah, and now now that I knew I was like looking out for all the all the things. Um mm-hmm. so this was like caught caught it early. <laughs> <laughs> Noticed it early. Noticed it early. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, so yeah, we're we're having another boy. We like oh. Got to do we got to do like the blood test, which was not available to me um, for Jack. It, they like just mm. had to we had to wait for the twenty week ultrasound. Back, oh, back in those days, <laughs> in twenty eighteen. <laughs> um, but yeah, I I had to I like found out early. It was really cool, and then so I've been getting all of this genetic testing because like at, when you get older, like there's more of risks for you know, all kinds of stuff happening. So Mm -hmm. I had like half of my blood taken out of my body so that they could do all these tests basically. Oh my God. Um, Yeah. And I guess that's kind of a segue, a wee bit of a segue into what we're talking about today. Yeah. We should Uh, say congratulations. Very excited. I feel like, uh, yeah, we... uh, we get another Jack who's just such a perfect baby angel. Uh, I saw a video randomly that I had taken of him, like just oh. playing with him at your house from like uh, oh, two years ago, probably. <laughs> uh, and I was like, oh, and then I was like, oh, there's going to be another little Jack. And he's oh, so man. sweet. And they're going to be cute little besties. Yeah. Yeah. We're I. You know, I, I didn't know what was going to happen. Like, I, I was like, oh, maybe I'll have a girl because I feel like shit. Um, oh. <laughs> and everybody's like, yeah, yeah. when I was pregnant girls with a girl, like girls shit. make you feel like shit. How rude. So I felt like shit for a really long time. And I was like, oh, maybe it's a girl. But then we found out it was a boy. And I was like, oh, that's OK. Yeah. Like, it would have been cool. Like, to I just wanted to, like, know what it was, like, what the differences were. Yeah. Um, but DJ was like. We we have the boys now, so that yeah. was really cute when he put it that way. Um, the yeah. boys, the boys, so cute. Oh. I know. Uh, so that's fun and exciting, and mm-hmm. we're very psyched. And I hope this time around I can enjoy the uh, the baby time a little mm. bit more than I yeah. did with Jack. Poor buddy. Um, I had such gnarly postpartum depression and anxiety that it was. No fun for the first six months until I got put on uh, some, you know, yeah, antidepressants and uh, figured out breastfeeding a little bit better. And well, now you know for this next time. Yeah. So I, now and I know how to take care of myself. Like yeah, and, ha- and, and know, like speak up yeah. and know things aren't right. In right. versus like well, maybe this is just how it is. But also yeah. like it didn't matter because Jack turned out amazing and he's so sweet and smart. 
and he's yeah he's, he's just so like pete was saying the other day oh because i i was facetiming you and he came and said hi on the camera you know the other day yeah, he like yeah. crawled into your lap uh-huh. and then i was like oh do you want to say hi to uncle peach and then he like pete like came over and then jack was like hi like got all shy it was very cute <laughs> and then uh you guys hung up and then he was like jack is just so always so happy and like he, just so like hey and like he just is always having a nice time and it's so cute and sweet you know even when he's like an asshole like I feel like I can bring him out of it pretty easily by like making a funny face and then he's yeah. like okay oh uh, yeah and it's and like he, and what he's do you getting, need he's getting to the point too where he like knows he's being an asshole you know yeah yeah and sometimes he'll be like I'm sorry <laughs> Oh my God! Great. He's already yeah. taking care of himself, so this next baby's gonna be easy. <laughs> yeah. I'm just gonna be like, "Hey, kid, take care of your brother." Yeah. You know, it's yeah. gonna be great. Yeah. Hey, uh, yeah, you're <laughs> babysitting. We're gonna pop out for a little bit. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Mommy and Daddy are you're gonna good? go have a drink. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh uh, my God. No, 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 no. I'm. Yeah. It's. I. I. I really am excited to like do it, like knowing. Yeah. Some shit now. And also yeah. I don't have to buy any fucking clothes because I no. got I got all Jack's shit that I saved. And we're not so. leaving the house. So oh for the kid, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I thought yeah, you yeah, meant yeah. for you. <laughs> oh. No. I'm like, oh good. You kept all your maternity clothes, but it's like everyone's just wearing sweatpants now anyway. So oh, yeah. I don't we're need all to buy wearing it. maternity clothes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm wearing lobster. I'm what wearing isn't maternity pants. clothes? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm fully wearing pajama pants right now with lobsters on them. Or crabs. It's crabs. You got some you got some fucking leggings. Those are maternity clothes. Like Yeah. It's all maternity clothes at this point. Yeah. Even I, uh, those of us who aren't are not and will never be pregnant. Uh it's honestly <laughs> such a scam. Well, like yeah. certain things, like once you get really pregnant, it's like, okay. Mm-hmm. You're just like you you're you can't wear normal like you need you need a little situation. Like you need yeah. you need something. Um, but like otherwise, like I don't give a shit. Just yeah. Give me a a dress that is stretchy. It's fine. Yeah. Oh my I gosh. Got it. Yeah. Yeah, we were actually, talking about house coats. Oh yeah, house coats. Oh my god. Mm-hmm. Give me, Give me a house coat. I you know it's funny. I when I was pregnant with Jack, I I wore things that I would never wear before like that were kind of tight, like in form fitting. Oh. Which Cuz you're would, pregnant and it's like yeah. the excuse of like being having a belly. Yeah. 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 Otherwise, I'm like, oh, no, now you should <laughs> just wear that shit because yeah. who gives a fuck? Yeah. No, I, I that's what I'm saying. Like, I that yeah. was what I, I wore and I was I liked yeah. it. It felt good. So I'm going to do it again. Hell yeah. I'm going to do it, too. Good. <laughs> but yeah. Uh, but yeah. So segueing, though, thank you for saying all those nice things. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I can't wait. And I get to be here for it this time. Oh, my God. My mom gets to be here for it. Oh, like well, my... she was there. I mean, fine. Bobby, whatever. No, it's my turn. She was barely. I feel so bad. She was like barely, <laughs> barely kidding. there. I was like, Mom, just like let me have some space. And now I'm like, Mom, I, will you help me all the thing with all the things? Oh, also, yeah. Also, like I need help with Jack. Like, Yeah, yeah, yeah. OK, cool, cool. Don yeah. shares on it. We're yeah. I'm going to have some fun times. It's going to be like, oh, yeah. yeah. Fucking aquariums and shit. Because I'm assuming the world will be open and however many months left you have uh you're due like late summer yeah yeah ish uh yeah early september yeah is is my due date so um, yeah who, so you never i'm not even gonna say my actual due date because i don't even know if it's real and it never is so yeah late summer yeah <laughs> early fall <laughs> early fall we'll see TBD, yeah TBD. yeah uh yeah oh my gosh jack we're gonna have so much fun it's going to be a good time. Um, yeah. But yeah. So speaking of all that, though, I got like all my genetic testing. This is kind of segues into our topic of, mm. um, wow, what a just crazy thing that royal families exist, huh? <laughs> Still. Oh, my God. <laughs> uh, she's saying that because Jack's such a little prince. Mm. No, no. No. Uh, he is. But. We, yeah, we, um, not only is Aaron going through all this stuff, we're like also, we've been obsessed. If you're a patron, you know that we've been talking about like royal family stuff. And so, 
someone actually pitched this topic to us in our Facebook group, like, uh, you know, as a suggestion. And we were like on a royal kind of binge and this came across and we're like, yes, let let's talk perfect, shit. A perfect <laughs> dovetail into the shit talking that we yeah. want to do on the royal family. It fucking has to do with royal family. It has to do with blood tests, which Aaron's getting done like every two to three days it feels yeah. like <laughs> and then uh and then it just like comes into burr, 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 burr. <laughs> i'd like to announce the topic this week <laughs> royal inbreeding spittle on my lip i know i just spit so much like, talking <laughs> earlier oh my god oh uh, uh. yeah it is uh there oh god oh uh, too uh, much horn <laughs> <laughs> okay um no it's just that they're uh throughout the years throughout history whatever um the status, the bloodlines, the nationality, power, wealth, etc., have always been driving forces in marriages for royal families. Mm-hmm. Um, they were arranged for a very long time. And this is royal, like, all over the globe. Um, mm-hmm. You know, it's just like it, it, the objective was to marry up in terms of power first and wealth second. Mm-hmm. And uh, those were both, like, equal, though, I would imagine. Um, and, you know... That can only happen so many times. You can only marry up so many times before you're at the top, baby. Talk about a pyramid scheme. <laughs> Ooh, it, this is not the kind. This is worse than the kind we usually talk about. Yeah, this is a there, this is a, a kind of like a. A zero sum, like you're 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 eliminating options yeah. as you go because there's only so many you know, families that are within this top tier of royalty, of of this arbitrary yeah. royalty. But I mean, you know, I get like ancient times, there was, you know, lots of fighting and yeah. war and There's only to, so like, many people. There's only so many people. But also, <laughs> you know, there was, it was, you needed land, you needed yeah. power, you needed resources. So like- it, it was probably more widespread almost in a way. Like it was just like whoever w- had the biggest dick was going to win. And yeah. whoever had the most, you know, offspring was going to have more options. So true. It's like, well, yeah. And also like while the land is so vast and it hasn't been conquered yet. Great. There's so many. There's so much more variety. There's so many more partnerships that could come out of this. But once all the dynasties have started to settle and they already own all the big clumps of land. Mm-hmm. Oof. Yeah. You're at the top. Yeah. And, and you know who the first choice is for your, your husband or or wife to be? Probably your, own, your, your cousin. Yeah, it's your own family. Your niece. <laughs> it's your brother. Yeah, sometimes, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Dude. Oh man, for real though. Like for real. brothers and sisters, uncles and aunts, nieces and nephews. Like you were lucky if you got to marry a cousin. Yeah. You like were a- lucky. <laughs> That's the dream in these days. It's like Oh, I, I have a cousin somewhere? <laughs> oh, fuck yeah. Yeah. Let me at him. <laughs> Great. So your uncle wants to marry you. Um we're thinking that's fine. And you're it's like uh, I'm sure there's a cousin somewhere. I don't care. The Like the one that you keep in the basement. It doesn't matter. Yeah. Like, I want that instead. And it's like, please. sorry, it's between your two gross uncles. Uh, that look exactly like your dad. <laughs> God. They're triplets. <laughs> it's How between your triplet horrible. uncles. <laughs> Oh, oh my god, no. it's just so rude. Anyway, uh, that it happened. That was the yeah. that was the way. A few fucking yeah. This is this is what we're getting to because after a few dosy does of like Cersei and Jamie Lannister, the family tree starts to look 
like that very gnarled tree in the Tim Burton's Sleepy Hollow that like the horse comes out of and goes back into <laughs> where it's like like so snarled and knotted and it's yeah. like is this just like oh okay so our family tree is like a bush I don't yeah. understand <laughs> Our family tree is just a straight line. <laughs> yeah. Our family tree used to be a tree, and now it's a literal basket that has been woven yeah. <laughs> from one branch. Oh, my God. And then melted uh. together <laughs> with wax, and now that's what it is. Oh, um, dear. Yeah, yeah. we're going to – I mean, yeah, there's <laughs> – <sighs> There's some things that have happened through history, and um, mm. I just, I think, you know, maybe William and his hairline, <laughs> <laughs> the Windsor jeans are maybe not great. Like, he started They're off, like, Di- them. Diana came through for a while for him, and then the Windsor jeans were like, no, no, no. <laughs> and then everything, everything changed. <laughs> I'm sorry. And then Charles was like, hold my beer. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's unfortunate. Charles Honestly, would never drink a beer. He is too stuck up for that. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. Um, I, I thought maybe Harry was going to escape it until about five years ago. I mean, he's still his hair is still hanging on, and he, not in the he, back. No, he something's or the top. On. He's had problems in sector seven. Uh, uh, shut yeah. the airtight doors. Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> Iceberg, <laughs> right? <ahead. laughs> Sorry. Oh dear. I know it is. Uh, yeah, we. Honestly, we've talked so much shit about um, oh specifically Charles and Harry this week, both on and offline. Oh, William. Oh, yeah. And yeah, William. Not Harry. He's a gorgeous, lovely man. Just a real from what we can sweet, tell. Sweet ginger man. Um, yeah. But yeah, we have a whole like, how long did we talk about uh, oh the God. Oprah interview? The Oprah and Harry and Meghan interview. We have like a full 80 minute Patreon episode about that, but we had also talked before we started recording for maybe 30 minutes and the day prior for like another 45 minutes. And then after we were done recording, we kept, we also talked for like another hour. So it is, and I'm talking about it now with everyone, all the, like anyone I talk to, I'm like, did you, did you watch it? And then and I'm just, just like, and I'm just like extremely on Twitter, like reading all of the yeah. takes that are still happening. And it's so funny. Oh, my God. They're so good. It. Oh, my God. Uh, they're so good. But we're going to go like a little bit more meta with the royal yeah. family here in yeah. this episode. So let's we're talking. We're, we're literally talking about inbreeding and like things that have resulted because of the intense inbreeding in royal mm-hmm. families. Um for legal reasons, we don't think William and Charles and Harry are inbred. No. <laughs> but their ancestors were, for sure. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. But for legal reasons, we don't think the Windsor genes are mutating in ways that are unfortunate. That's why they're like, it's fine. Marry commoners now. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. Honestly, everyone who is married into that family is doing them a favor now. Dude, I'm telling you. Thin it out. Thin <sighs> out the Windsor gene pool. Like with as many outsiders as possible because it's been too long. Perhaps the most prominent example of inbreeding comes from the House of Habsburg. Um, and it is... Uh, it was one of the most distinguished royal houses of Europe. It is the most prominent example of inbreeding because there is like a very prominent jawline associated with it. So it's literal, but more on that in a minute. Um, they, the Habsburg family, they occupied the throne of the Royal, the Holy Roman Empire off and on from the 1400s through the 1700s until the male lineage ended with Charles II. Why did it end? 
Oh, dear. It ended because genetics will only take you so far before they turn on themselves and say, no, no more. Mm. Literal centuries of marriage politics resulting in, like, being able to maintain power through marrying your own relatives ended up narrowing the gene pool so significantly with each generation until they had a plethora of health issues, impotency being one of them. Um, Charles II wasn't able to produce an heir. And so the family line ended. Um, And a little bit about Charles II. He was also known as Charles the Bewitched. He was born in 1661 to Mariana of Austria and Philip IV of Spain, a.k.a. he was born to his mother and his great uncle because Philip was Mariana's uncle. Yeesh. So their offspring, that was his great uncle. It's, and also, I watched a video, and I did not need to know this, but now you get to know it. He was like 44, and she was like 14. Yeah. Nasty. Yeah, I that mean, think about, think about your great uncle. No, thank you. And having to marry him. I don't even know if I have any that are still alive. Think about your great uncle when you were 14. Oh, yeah. No, and no, having no, to no, marry no, no. him. That's disgusting. Yeah. Your your dad's uncle. Also, you know what's even grosser about that back then is like how quickly everyone aged. Like now. Why do you think? Because they had a fucking. <laughs> they couldn't. They died from like a fucking bladder infection. And yeah. like they had to marry like the oldest person. Oh, in the world like they had to marry their fucking relatives i don't like it it's it, so icky it's so icky and it wasn't like the reason the habsburg family it was like so such a standout example for this is because if you look at their family tree like this is not a joke the lineage circles back to people like multiple times. It is because they are someone's uncle, someone's brother, someone's cousin, all marrying. Like it is wild. And the three generations previous to Charles II, all of the couplings were related. Damn. Every single one. Like if you look at his family tree, the row above him, every single couple is not only a married couple, they're also relatives. Oh, God. For three generations before him. And and the fourth generation ahead of him, the one that kind of started it all, wasn't even fully cl- in the clear. That was half related. So half, two of the four marriages were relatives. Jeez. So it was just really compounding a mess. for a, a long-ass time. It was a mess, yeah. And, you know, it's so funny. It's very ironic to me that we, like, always make fun of, you know, people from, like, you know, Kentucky or whatever. Like, yeah. you know, like people in rural places, basically. Poor people. Yeah. And, it, and it's like, okay, sure, maybe that happens. But, like, yeah. this originated on a scale, a global scale, with the wealthiest people in the world, the most powerful people in the world. Mm-hmm only because they wanted to maintain and keep and and be in power for ever. I'm going to say this. Controversial TBD. Rich people are so desperate to stay rich and in power. And this goes for like today, like in nowadays, that they'll marry their own fucking family. Yeah. And then they'll fuck them and make kids. So that the wealth stays and everything that they own stays. That's how crazy people with power get. (laughs) I mean, honestly, like talk about selling your soul. Like just maybe just like chill. Like it's not just chill. What will kill you is marrying your (laughs) your great uncle over and over again (laughs) for generations. See what happens? It kill it kills the entire blood bloodline like yeah that whole that whole family tree is non-existent now dude yeah he was he was known as charles the bewitched which had to do with some sort of political struggle um and something that happened like a like a deal gone wrong or something Mm. but truly he was bewitched because this dude was fucking cursed after all that inbreeding because he had 
so many health problems man it's It's sad fucking sad yeah it's sad he so he had trouble walking sleeping and eating the latter two potentially a result of what is uh was a severely protruding jawline which has since been named the Habsburg jawline Mm -hmm. um and is very pronounced in him but you can also see it in his daddy uncle and um (laughs) and other males like in his bloodline uh it was just getting like more severe more pronounced with each generation um and along with that he has what has now been dubbed the Habsburg lip it's like a very large lower lip and um he also had a very large tongue again he was impotent he could not produce an air and that was due to like health issues uh that he had and he also had speech speech issues which could be attributed to his like um jaw lip tongue situation um and but also he had some cognitive abnormalities um he listen there a lot of experts have studied his traits and the journey of them and some people say it's the result of inbreeding some people say it's just like bad genetics unrelated to that I don't think the inbreeding helped um uh, something else I don't think helped was I guess he was like breastfed until he was five or six and then also like people just like carried him everywhere and totally babied him maybe because he couldn't walk a little bit but also they were just like babying him too much they didn't put him in school they were just like no we just need to like focus on him he's our little prince he's gonna be king his dad died pretty like early because he was a lot older um and so then he became ruler and just like no one thought to give him an education or like help him in any way where he could help himself um oh, man and so I, his um his reign i don't think went very well um and yeah i don't know there was also a weird fact this has nothing to do with anything oh didn't help though no it didn't <laughs> help okay <laughs> Yeah. Okay. When his dad died, he he was having problems conceiving an heir or like, you know, producing a boner. I'm not exactly sure of the um, specifics, but his mom was like, maybe it'll help. Okay. Your dad just died. That man was able to get a boner and we had you. Um, And maybe you should just like he's dead now, but like go lay with his body. That might help. Like maybe slip in the night next to his body and like see what that does. And so he did and it didn't help. And Jesus Christ, this poor man. I just feel like they might as well have like made him snort some of his father's ashes like (laughs) Keith Richards or something like this. is Yeah. Like like, that made might have been worked more. I don't know. I know. This is so sad. It's so sad. This poor guy. I mean, like I think in describing some of these things, it's like this is what it was like they didn't have the like ability like this was the he was like the one and only heir so yeah. like it's it's like a lot of ableist kind of shit like yeah. that we're kind of like touching on but like mm-hmm. this is just how it was when somebody was born with like so many issues and they yeah. just didn't know how to like take care of him or yeah you know what I mean like they just had no clue they didn't they didn't they knew they knew there was he wasn't like he he wasn't a hundred percent you know able to do everything uh but he was it it was so severe that it was just like they just literally had no idea they were just like yes be king and yeah it's I don't know what yeah it's uh, I it's truly like it, it's wild that when you look, you know, people have studied this and they're like they debate what his issues could be attributed to. Like, did he have, you know, w- did he have some cognitive um, differences because he was that's just how he was? Or is it from literal centuries of inbreeding? And there, people have, like, difference of opinion, but I feel like it didn't help. Yes. This is the thing. Like, maybe that wasn't the specific cause, like, but all of that stuff was compounded for sure. Like, And there's evidence of other members of the family having these traits. Yes. Not not as severely, but they they all 
really did compound and were yeah. most represented like physically in him. So yeah. Um, yeah, yeah, you could if you stacked them all next to each other, it'd be like the evolution of man. But like just the chin, mm-hmm. it gets more and more and more and more and more like pronounced. And also, I think like I'm pretty sure wasn't Marie Antoinette related to the Habsburg line? Um, oh, she, probably because they're she, Austrian. Yeah, she, she was Austrian. She had some traits that were similar, but like I think she's a little bit more removed mm. from that. Yeah. Part of the family tree. So there are some some traits that are associated with the the, the so-called Habsburg jaw uh, yeah. or whatever. And so I don't know. Um, this poor man, though, I mean, it's just he didn't stand a chance, really. Like no, genetically, he, what mm-mm. like based on what we know now, like how uh, things are passed down. Yeah. This this man really just got the worst of all of the things. <laughs> Yeah, it was the the amount of his DNA that like overlapped or, or like the amount of DNA that overlapped with like the um, mom, his mom and dad was like mm-hmm. st- too much. It was way yeah. too much. It was yeah. too much, too much. This is why you don't fuck your cousins or siblings or. <laughs> yeah, or uncles, and uncles or. Yeah, <laughs> it's not good. This is no. what happens. This um, is why there are laws against it, too. I think I mean, also to protect people, but also because I think it's like, well, this could be bad. And it should it should be said that a lot of, uh, you know, genetic stuff can happen randomly. Yeah. Uh, and just appear out of nowhere, n- like having nothing to do with inbreeding. So like that is not a thing. However. Yeah. That the Habsburg jaw is. Is. <laughs> it's because it, 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 it randomly occurred in somebody's DNA, but then it was mu- mutated <laughs> more and more and more yeah. as the family line kept having sex with each other. Um, <laughs> another example, though, that isn't as severe as the Habsburg uh, jaw is, uh, but another example of mm-hmm. royal intermarriage happening. And causing something to <laughs> spread like wild wildfire through a family mm-hmm. is hemophilia. Mm. Uh, specifically, Queen Victoria uh, had a, a lot of her descendants have hemophilia. Mm. Um, so she, through two of her five do- daughters, Princess Alice and Princess Beatrice, passed on this mutation to various royal houses across the continent, including the royal families of Spain, Germany, and Russia. Wow. So, again, like, because of alliances, political of and otherwise, like, these these girls that she had were married off to all these other royal families. Mm-hmm. And having copies of this gene mutation when paired with another – person who could distantly be related maybe it was an, a recipe for g- creating more and more copies of this genetic mutation so uh hemophilia is, is a very scary disease that occurs when a defective x chromosome prevents blood from clotting mm. so uh women are usually the carriers for it and men can be too but they the x chromosome is affected so Men are usually the ones that have the eff- are pretty much always the ones that have the effect of the of hemophilia. Like they mm. are the ones that are affected by it. Oh. Um, so because of that, back in those days, even the smallest injury, such as a cut or a nosebleed, could be extremely scary and lead oh. to a whole host of problems. Yeah. So like, if your blood doesn't clot, you can't stop bleeding. Um, right. So like probably very anemic um Mm -hmm. you know you could possibly die if the cut's big enough oh my god yeah um I don't know that that like happened all the time but uh you typically died young because of this though um like dental issues were a major uh concern due to the fear of just like the fear of bleeding while you're trying to take care of your teeth like if you just like thinking about like brushing your teeth like normal and you you know your your gums bleed just if you yeah. barely get in there with the toothbrush sometimes yeah um but you, you couldn't shave. be flossing <laughs> yeah. yeah you couldn't shave but pe- because people were like 
There is so you would bleed so much if you touched your mouth at all. Oh my god! If you had hemophilia, uh, that people are just like I. I don't want to even fucking touch my teeth. So they'd get dental issues because their dental oh, hygiene no. would suffer because of that. Yeah. And that, of course, your oral health leads to other bigger health issues with your entire body because your oral health is your health. <laughs> yeah. Your oral health is your health. They don't you couldn't have understand your period. that here in America. <laughs> yeah. Well, I, m- like I said, men were affected. Oh. Um, um. But uh, like – you know, having that that X chromosome was chromosome was the 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 key here. Mm. Um, and then there would be other symptoms of hemophilia, which would include included easy bruising, urinary tract bleeding, nosebleeds, and bleeding into joints, which all sound extremely awful. Oh my um, god! I just thought of something. What? It's like okay. Queen Victoria was like a badass lady queen. Obviously. I mean, like she's a ruler. She was a queen, not a king. Very hot. Yes. Fucking had some daughters, sent them out with hemophilia, was like, yeah, um, we don't want any male heirs. This is a man's disease. Kind of. We're taking back the crown. That's right. (laughs) And then we got lady queen. We have a lady queen still. Yeah, Queen Victoria lived a long time and yeah. like loved her husband so much. Like she mourned him for the rest of her life. Uh, oh yeah, uh, she, after he died, after he died she died, always yeah. wore black and a veil, mm-hmm. right? Yep. Mm. Um, they liked love to fuck. So good for oh, them. Oh, good for them. I think that's where Victoria's Secret comes from because she was like, oh, that was her secret. <laughs> that was her secret. She's always she fucking. loved to fuck. Yeah. Um. <laughs> oh, like how Bruce Banner's secret is he's always mad. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. She was always horny. Yeah, good that's Victoria's her. secret. I love oh, her. Good for uh, her. Yeah. Um, <laughs> well, it is actually sad because Victoria's youngest son, Prince Leopold, um, who was the Duke of Albany, he also suffered from the the disease. Uh, although none of his younger, his elder, three elder sons did. Oh. Um, but. For this reason, hemophilia B was once popularly called the, quote, royal disease. Interesting. Um, Tests on the remains of the Romanov imperial family, because they were related to Queen Victoria, it show Mm -hmm. that the specific form of hemophilia passed down by Queen Victoria was probably the relatively rare hemophilia B. Wow. Like, hemophilia exists in other forms, just not as severe as this type Mm. that queen victoria passed down um okay and it is a randomly occurring uh genetic uh mutation so Mm -hmm. she could have maybe inherited a copy from her her father her mother whatever yeah but it 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 didn't really occur before her basically so Mm. she was the the fount of that yeah um and then in 1918 the bolsheviks executed the last russian czar nicholas the second mm. and his entire family and among the, de- the deceased was the only heir of the russian empire uh zarevich alexi mm. and even if the but even if they hadn't executed the entire royal family alexi would have probably died early because of his inherited hemophilia uh-huh. so like ugh, sad yeah it's all sad very yeah, very the, tragic it was, it was gonna be sad for him no matter what yeah um, the saddest part of this though is that Queen Victoria died in 1901, but mm. she so she lived to see her youngest son and a grandson die from this disease. Oh, that's sad. It's very sad. Terrible that's way to really go. Sad, yeah. Um, yeah. So that's it's it's not a not a good one. Um, yeah. But that was as a result of like all the like intermarriage, like it, how it spread to like so many. <laughs> royal yeah. families is because of that so yeah because this is yeah it's just the what is recessive and should be re- should remain recessive within a large enough gene pool because mm-hmm. it's never the dominant gene becomes dominant because if you're related everyone has it so there's no there's no like a recessive opposite. gene becomes yeah becomes, it becomes dominant. the dominant gene yeah. in mm-hmm. this gene pool, and that's how you get get so many family members that have the same issues. Totally, that's wild. Um, and well, it takes generations. You know, it, this isn't it, yeah. something that's happening quickly. This is 
centuries of inbreeding leading to these health issues. Yeah. I mean, unless you think that uh, this is like more modern and only European, it's definitely not. Um, no. Mm-mm. This has been happening like all over the world for a very long time. Mm-hmm. Like even though, you know, mostly like a lot of it was really happening with the like royal family of of Europe in mm-hmm. the the Middle Ages. Yeah. But even back in the time of ancient Egyptians, incest mm-hmm. was popping. And I mean like hard incest. <laughs> like like not I'm talking cousins. not cousins. I'm talking brother, <laughs> sister. Mhm father daughter fucking Ew. yeah really rough really yeah. really rough um and poor king tut king mm. tutankhamun was one of is one of the most well known people of this time to have suffered from many physical deformities because his parents were literally brother and sister Ooh, big no. yikes oh i know poor guy uh, yeah. molecular genetics and ct scans of his body have revealed that he had like first of all most people know he had scoliosis and and bone issues uh, uh but he also had a very frail immune system and he likely suffered his entire short life because oh. of these issues and he died at, at the age of 18 of natural causes um Oh. And when his tomb was discovered, it contained over a hundred walking sticks because he had a a bone a foot deformity, which caused his bones and his like flesh around it to have like major major issues. Oh. Um, so he was always dealing with some sort of foot mm. issue. Yeah. Um, when he became king, when King Tutankhamun became king, mm-hmm. he married his half sister, with oh, which no. he had. Yeah, it's not good. Oh. Uh, it was just the thing to do. Mm. Uh, but he had two daughters with her, and neither of them survived infancy. So mm. it's just, yeah, it's cause... a recipe for disaster. Yeah, I mean that's the like, uh, that's the like fucked up Darwinianism, I guess, of it. It's like, you know, it. it it's like the opposite of what Jeff Goldblum says, how um, nature always <laughs> finds a way. But nature finds, finds a, way. a way. Oh, life. Yeah. Life always finds a way. But life will cannot find a way. Life finds a way to make sure life doesn't find a way when you're like brother and sister. You know what yeah. I mean? Yeah. It's like, no, no. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> Life's like, and I'm going to stop you right there. OK, because what you're doing here, not going to end well. So why don't we just not? Nah, nah, uh, uh, uh. This and we're just going to... It's not what we do here. We're just going to... And yep. then we're going to... Mm-mm. Mm-mm. We're going to shut it down. Shut that down. We're going to start over. Nope, nope, nope. Yeah. <laughs> are yeah. There, oh, yeah. Because there's no... If he never had heirs, like... Because I, I was just going to ask, are there any bloodlines related to King Tut? I mean, maybe they there would be bloodlines related somehow, but he has no... Like, there's no descendants from his lineage. From him directly, no. There can't be. Because he had uh-uh. no children. That's right. Yeah. Arrived. And I mean, he was most likely a descendant of Nefertiti. I believe mm. his father was related to Nefertiti mm. on some level. I can't remember, but like, I don't know. And all the and again, like all of those royal bloodlines, like, are so uh, it's a muddled. fucking bush, yeah. And and even more so because I mean the only reason we know so much about King Tut is because he his over the the centuries over the millennia mm-hmm. his his tomb was miraculously one of the very few that was not looted right um, over time so there are so many you know royal. Royal other bloodlines families. and royal yeah. other family that we just simply don't know much about because there's nothing left of them because yeah. their tombs were raided and there's maybe because no- they had kids and the kids were like they owe me money and so they went back in <laughs> and they were like but then King Tut yeah he yeah know, his kids couldn't come yeah so. I it's um talk about a redistrib redistribution of wealth um, <laughs> yeah those yeah eventually everybody all that is because you can't take it with you so you might you as well fucking left you. that for the grave robbers that's yeah. that's just you know the economy what are you gonna do um yeah. desperate times man 
People needed money, obviously. Um, and it's so it's so ironic because it's like they literally kept all that stuff in their fucking tombs so that like people would know how important they were. And yeah. then today we have no idea. Like some of the probably most important pharaohs of, of that time, we just we'll never have know. no idea. We'll never know because yeah. we know a lot, but we there's some some that we will never know about because of the great irony of having all their shit stolen. <laughs> if history has told us anything, the great pharaohs were not only their mother's sons, but also their mother's nephews. <laughs> <laughs> and also maybe their mother's cousin. And also... Maybe their mother's uncle? Yeah, and maybe their mother's... Brother? Brother. <laughs> I mean, honestly, it's it gets so confusing. This it's is so why confusing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You need some distance. Um, yeah. Yeah, I don't know. Like I said, nearly all cultures throughout history have had royal families. Like, you can... Yeah. On any continent, you can, like... Oh, see- every, every country that's had royalty has stories of incest. Yeah. And it's, inbreeding. It, it's... Um, it, it, it is... Although incest is a universal taboo, I would say, mm-hmm. um, to, to some degree. I mean, it's not really I think universal. it's a universal taboo. We don't it's have to one, be PC about it. It's one, of, it's one of the few things that like every culture has like caught, cottoned on to the fact that like, okay, this causes problems. Yeah. <laughs> like, and it's because of these types of things happening. Like that's yeah. why everyone like – because it, it's not like it's a new thing either. People started taking notice – in the 1700s or whatever, when like bloodlines started dying out and they were like, mm-hmm. ooh, maybe this isn't a great idea. I feel like the last few generations of babies born to this cousin couple, whatever, brother, sister couple, they haven't survived. They've had health. Like all these things are happening. Maybe we should start. Yeah. Spreading out. And, you know, I, I, I'm hesitant to say like what a universal taboo is because like this was these were things like that I learned in anthropology but as I have learned more now like yeah anthropology itself as a as a uh, as a field of study is uh needs to be decolonized a lot mm. there is mm-hmm. it's a lot of white western ideas and ideals being applied to other cultures so yeah I I think incest though Pretty think, much across yeah. the board is yeah. is not. Um, I mean, it it still happens, but it's. Uh, I but don't I know. don't. I don't think it happens. Like it's. It's not. It's not. I, like I said, there a lot of <laughs> humans have figured out over the yeah. generations and millennia that it it does not result in good things. So and again, it it kind of controls itself. Like it shuts that shit down. You just can't have a bloodline that you try to keep pure for generations. It's not gonna happen. Yeah, it physically will not happen. But yeah, I will say one of the common themes that remains <laughs> in royal families throughout history, regardless of what culture it is, mm-hmm. is arbitrary rules about who is eligible to be royal. Mm. And mm-hmm. and because of that, it cut down on the gene pools. So right. literally every continent has had past royal families that have all done it, the intermarriage. Um, mm-hmm. But my thought, my final thought and feeling about this is that I think the reason there were so many widespread and prolific instances of genetic issues in European royal families specifically mm-hmm. is because of imperialism. Mm-hmm. Uh, so many alliances needed to be made so they could dominate the world. Yes. That was the whole point and keep power. Yeah. Um, and the only way to do that the most successfully and effectively was through marriage. Yeah. Which is trash. So imagine just having to marry your first cousin so that your country wouldn't go to war with your cousin husband's country. And then you also. <laughs> <laughs> so okay. your your country and your cousin husband's country could also team up and fuck up another country together. Like it's it, that was all it was like. It, it's yeah. just so it's so gross. It's, yuck. I hate yeah. it. Yeah. I feel like it was like very prominent in Europe and ve- I think also prominent like centuries earlier in like asia in like the dynasties that were there oh, yeah. you know 100%. it's like yeah this is a whole it's a fucking power grab and people realized real quick that 
oh, it's maybe better if we keep this shit to ourselves. But all they had to do was like acknowledge their bastard children. Oh, let yeah. Them, and let them come on in and be like, oh, totally. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. But that, and that's where I'm saying all these arbitrary rules about who is eligible to be royal. Yeah, yeah, and, yeah, yeah. And so yeah. it's oh, like. Oh, yeah, because uh, that's the other thing. If we know anything about royalty, they're kings snobs. were out there fucking. Oh, they were oh, fucking everyone, too. They're fucking everybody because they're they kings. kids. They had so many kids. But yeah, they were like, quote unquote, illegitimate. And dumb. Just stupid idiots. It's so dumb. Yeah. You have plenty of kids that are going to survive and they're going to be able to produce heirs and they're technically your bloodline. So let's just like go with it. You know? Wow. I mean, I, I, yeah, I hope none of this like came off as like as ableist or weird, but this is just the facts of of uh, the consequences of, of royalty and the history of uh, intermarriage and inbreeding mm-hmm. and how it's like probably caused many issues for unsuspecting people down the line poor you know these poor children that were born into it who had no choice who didn't make it past infancy or childhood because of you know horrible diseases that they inherited from their you know parents who are cousins or yeah whatever (laughs) their uncle cousin parents yeah it's just it's rough yeah I just I I mostly am just shitting on the concept of royal of royalty and yeah. how it's dumb. Yeah, it's dumb. It's all and like you're saying, it's all like arbitrary rules that they made up that then they have to stick to, which brings us full circle back to the Oprah interview and just all the bullshit there and like, oh, like we can't name him a prince because then we'd have to name everybody a prince and blah, 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 blah. And it's just like, oh, God, everybody. Just say you're fucking- racist. OK, we yeah. all know you are. Just say you're fucking racist. Yeah. Either do it for everyone or don't do it for everyone. There's you're being sketchy. Ugh. Oh, I hate <sighs> it. All right, yeah. guys. That's all I got. I got <laughs> yeah. to stop thinking about cousins having sex. Um, <laughs> follow us on social media. Uh, at DTFU Podcast, all the places, including TikTok. Oh, yeah. We are so modern and cool. Oh, uh, my God. <laughs> um, thank you guys for listening. Mm-hmm. Share with a friend. Yeah. Um, holler at us with any uh, topic mm-hmm. uh, requests. Yeah. Yeah, give us your topic pitches. We might do an episode. We keep track of literally all of them, and then we scroll through them on Mondays, and we go, what should we do next? Mm -hmm. That's great fun. It Um, is, yeah. Yeah. Visit our website. It's dtfupodcast.com. Ew. Check it out. Love it all. Um, And uh, one last thing for me. Mm -hmm. Be excellent to yourselves. And each other. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.